Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to update or edit or change MySQL database table data by using Ajax in Laravel with jQuery data tables plugin. In previous part we have already seen how we can insert or add new record in MySQL table by using Laravel in Ajax with jQuery data tables plugin. But now we wanted to change something in existing data in Laravel application, so for change or edit data in Laravel we will use Ajax for send request to server. We have already load data from MySQL student table in data tables and here we have also add button for insert new record, but now we want to add edit button in all records. So we have go to Ajax data controller.php file and in this file we have to go to get data method. In this method we have define edit button because this method has load data into data tables. So now first here in select method we have write a table column name, because in edit button we have required each student unique kid in their edit button. After this here we have write add column method with two argument, in first argument we have write action and in second argument we have write function with dollar student as argument. Under this method we have write return statement with anchor tag with attribute class is equal to edit. It is equal to dollar student argument with it. This method will generate generate dynamic column in data tables with edit button and in this we will use this edit class in jQuery code and in it attribute we have store unique student it. Now we have to register this column into jQuery data tables plugin also, so we have to go to ajax.blade.php view file. Here in data table method we have to go to column option and here we have add one more column like data with name action, orderable false and searchable false. This code will add one more column with edit button in data tables on web page. Now we have check this code output. Friends here we can see student data in data tables with two column and one add button above the table. Now we have refresh page. After refresh of web page now we can see third column in each student data with edit button. By clicking this button we can edit particular student data, but for this we have to write code. So we have go to ajaxblade.php page and here we have write jQuery code on edit button. So here we have write dollar document select with on method and under this method we have write click event with button class edit, so when we have click on edit button this code will execute. Under this first we define it variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id. This code will fetch value of id attribute and store into this id variable. After this we have start write ajax request for fetch particular student data, so in this first we have write url option. And here we have write two curly brackets and between it we have write root method and under this we have write ajax data dot fetch data method. We have send request to fetch data method of ajax data controller. In second option we have write method and here we have use get method for fetch data from server. In third option we have write data and under this method we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write it variable value which we want send to server. In next option we have write data type and here we have write JSON, that means this request will return student data in JSON format. 
Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with text box id first name with value method and under this method we have write data dot first name. This code will fill value of text box with id first name. Same way we have write dollar with text box id last name with value method and under this method we have write data dot last name. This code will fill value of text box with id last name. Now we have go to modal footer part and here we have define input type hidden tag with attribute name is equal to student id and it is equal to student id. We will use this tag value for update student data. So now here we have write dollar with hidden tag id student id with value method and under this method we have write id. This code will assign id variable value to this hidden field. After this we want to show student modal, so we have write dollar with modal id student modal with modal method and under this we have write show. This code will pop modal on web page. Now want to change submit value from add to edit, so we have write button id action with value method and under this method we have write edit. Same way we want to change modal title from add data to edit data, so we have write dollar with modal title class with text method and under this we have write edit data. Lastly we want to change value of hidden field with id button action, so here we have write dollar with hidden field id button action with value method and under this method we have write update. Now we have go to ajax data controller.php file and here we have create fetch data method with request object. Under this method we have write dollar id variable is equal to dollar request variable with input method and under this we have write it. Here we have store value of id variable in dollar id variable which we have sent through ajax request. Below this we have write dollar student variable is equal to student modal class with find method and under this we have write dollar id variable. This modal find method will search database table data only in id table column and it retrieve particular student data based on value of id and store into dollar student variable in array object format. Now we want to fetch data from dollar student variable, so we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In array in first index we have write first name key with value get from dollar student with object first name. Same way in second index we have write last name key with value get from dollar student with object last name. So this way we have store student in in output array. Now we have write echo statement with JSON encode method and under this we have write dollar output variable. This method will convert array into JSON string and send to Ajax request. Now we have to set root of this method, so we have go to web.php file. And here we have write root class with get method with two argument. In first argument we have write ajax data slash fetch data method and second argument we have write ajax data controller at the rate fetch data method. After this we have write name method and under this we have write ajax data dot fetch data method. This URL we have write under ajax request URL option. So here we have set URL root for send request to Ajax data controller fetch data method. Now we have saved this code and check output in browser. 
Friends first we have refreshed this page and now we can see edit button in student data row, now we have click on particular student day to edit button. So here we can see modal has been pop with form and in form both fields has been filled with value because. Here when we have click on edit button it send Ajax request to fetch data method of Ajax data controller and it received particular student data which we have displayed under form field. Here we can also see modal title has been changed to edit data and submit button value also changed to edit. Here we have used same form for update data also so when we have click on edit button it will send Ajax request to post data method. So we do not want to write extra query code for update form data validation. And at the time update button action hidden field value has been changed to insert to update. So now we have go to Ajax data controller post data method and here we have write if statement. And under condition we have write dollar request variable with get method and under this method we have write button action is equal to update. So when button action hidden tag value is equal to update then it will execute this block of code. Under this block we have write dollar student variable is equal to student modal class with find method and under this we have write dollar request variable with get method with student id. This code will prepare particular student data row for update data based on value of student id. Now we have write dollar student variable with object first name is equal to dollar request with get method with first name. This code will set first name table column value from value get from first name text box form field. Same way we have write dollar student variable with object last name is equal to dollar request with get method with last name. This code will set first name table column value from value get from first name text box form field. Below this now we have write dollar student with save method. This method will make update query according to code which we have write above and execute it. Lastly we want to define success message. So we have write dollar success output variable is equal to data updated. This message will be displayed to user above the form. We have already write code for send value of this dollar success output variable. So now we have save this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh page and now we have click on particular student data row edit button and after click of button modal has been pop up with filled form data. Now we have blank last name text box and click on edit button, after clicking on edit button we have received validation error like last name is required. That means our validation code working properly. Now we have make changes in last name and click on submit. After clicking on submit button we have received data update message on above the form and whole modal property has been changed like modal title change to edit data to add data. All form fields value has been clear and submit button value also changed from edit to add. So this way we can change or edit or update my SQL table data using Ajax in Laravel with query data tables plugin without refresh of web page. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also.
If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.